opening up the chambers later, man. Locking in. Right now I'm with the Utes. Watch the low car terms. And we play with some toys, probably. I'm gonna get it in. Like only, you know. Salute, good looks, man. We locking in later, man. We locking in later. See, rest periods, rest periods consist of recovery time. And when you go hard, you need more time to recover than the average. And we definitely, we definitely gonna be back on board. See, the body get used to routines and get used to. It, it basically adjusts for whatever you do. It, it, it gets used to patterns. So even working out the same days might disservice you, you know, as far as development, as far as strength. You'll still have a pump, you know, but you want to get stronger. Muscles need to recover fully, fully recover. I don't make videos to to really willing the subscribers. But if I if I did it for that purpose, I'd make videos every day just working out. But that's not the point. The point to make videos is to inform people who don't have as much knowledge and experience. And when I do put out videos, it's like me dropping jewels. So pay attention, strap in. Cause this is real, real, real knowledge. Most of your trainers, trainers, get lessons from me and routines from me. It's a reason, brother, but I know what I'm doing. I work out in three ranges of motion. Whenever you see me doing shorties or not a full range, that's probably because I can't do full range. I need to rest. That's why I'm resting now fully. This is why I can give you all the gems you need. Same days, work, tra training on the same days. Like, all right, for example, you train Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. The next week, switch it up. Don't train on those exact days anymore. If if so, you're disservicing your body because your body's going to get used to them, them days and patterns. It's going to expect to work. See, me, I just took off about two weeks. Two weeks is enough to recover, you know. And then it's going to shock the hell out of me when I get back in them chambers. Because it's like, whoa, we back here? You know, it's like, wow, I ain't been here in about, you know, 14 days. It's a good rest. Get your rest, man. Don't let the internet rush you. Get your rest. Don't be in a rat race for subscribers and all that. Because if you really work hard and you put in pain and it's, you know, whatever, whatever you, when you be you, you bring to the table something that only you can, so... You know, you can't be replaced when you yourself. And that's my power, you know. That's my advantage. I'm going to stay doing me. How many rest days I take, I switch it up. Some days I take, some weeks I might take two or three days off. Some weeks I might take off one day. Sometimes I may take off two weeks straight. Sometimes I may take off three weeks straight and then go hard for a month. You just switch it up to shock. You keep shocking it, Conti consistently shocking yourself. Shock, shock, shock. Shock is rest as well, because rest, <coughs> cause your body expecting to get it in. Your body knows, all right, he just worked me the last two weeks straight, so this next week he's gonna go hard. Nope, I'm gonna rest. I'm gonna rest my body for about two weeks straight, and that's gonna shock your body as well, and recover it, and service you at the same time. You need to, to recover, brothers. Don't be in a race set for the subscribe. Like I said, it's going to come. If you work hard, it's going to come. The people going to acknowledge and recognize who really getting it in and who just throwing up many clips, you know. Keep, keep, keep the viewers going. Keep the subscribers going. But you're disservicing your body because you're overworking the muscles. Peace, King. You got to get. Huh. <coughs> <coughs>
get big, you gotta eat big. I don't care if you just eating kale and kalalu. You better load up. Load up heavier. Now you put about 85% of his work, not even like 75% of his um, eating. The rest is hard work. 150% total. <coughs> now let me load up on this sea moss, man. Kim Trout's killing me. Back with y'all, man. What you say? Uh. <coughs> oh, wait. Wait. As far as lifting weights, you should be able to do your body weight on a bench press. If you can do 20 pull ups straight, about 10 to 15 sets, then you should be able to. You should be able to do the same on a bench press with your body weight. You know, it's the same thing, you know. It's, your, it's, it's, it's weight. You want to be all around strong. I don't suggest you do just calisthenics. I suggest that if that's all you can do and that's all you have access to, then yeah, master the calisthenics, of course. Overall, even if you got weight to master calisthenics, but at the same time incorporate rates in there. You don't want to be the guy who's flying on the bar, 30 sets a clip, 30 reps a clip for 10 sets, but he get under his body weight and he can't push that up eight times. That's pathetic, man. Everybody's not going to be your body weight. Sometimes you might get in a situation where you have to maneuver and stop. I'll wrestle someone that weighs more than you. So how can you really, you know, be prepared for those situations? Because I train to go, not for show. You understand? And if you train for to go, it will show. You understand? That's why you have certain bodybuilders that was really strong. And some, some that really weren't, you know? Because overall, the strongest people I know pound for pound, they do it all. They do calisthenics and they do weights. And they have the best physiques. I'm one of them. Put me in the in, 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 in show off. Next to some of your favorites, you'll be surprised, man. They're about the complete package. They don't work out for symmetry. They just work out for push-ups, pull-ups, and dips. And you're not going to get the full physique like that. But a lot of people don't want to hear it, but it's reality, you know. They want to hear one thing that's, that, that makes them feel good about what they're doing. But in reality, if you're doing pull-ups, 20 sets a clip, and you can't do the same with your own body weight under the bench press, if you 150 or you 185 or 200 pounds, let's use 225 for example, because that's a good weight. A lot of dudes 225 might do a muscle-up or two even. But put them under the bench press, and they can't do their own body weight 20 times for four or five sets. So that's, that's, that's not, to me that's not strong. You gotta even it out, be balanced, do both. Calisthenics master it, of course. Master the ball, master the pull-ups and dips. Same time, master the bench press, master the squats, master the deadlift. It's gonna give you a different shrimp. You got park strong, then you got up top strong. A lot of dudes that's up top strong, that's different type of muscle, man, different type of strength. Do both, calisthenics and weights. If you got mad, I told you to do both. I'm sorry, but you got to do both to be truly strong all around. You can't prepare for, for deadlifts by doing pull-ups, bro. The inner strength, you know, is... Inner strength and power is two different things. Inner strength is your ability to move yourself, your own body weight. Power is the ability to move a lot of things outside of your body you might need to move. So get get power and strength. Load up. 